ArcGIS for Power BI allows you to visualize and analyze location-based data directly within your Microsoft Power BI reports. For this video, let's look at how you can manage your property portfolio. To get started, in the visualization pane, select ArcGIS for Power BI to add it to the report. From there, you can use the visual directly with limited features, or you can sign into your ArcGIS account to access more features and content from your organization. Next, simply drag data into the location or the latitude and longitude field wells. The location field can be used to map addresses and standard boundaries like counties and postcodes. Once your data is on the map, you can change how it's displayed and what tools are available for consumers who view and interact with the report. For example, the base map tool can be turned on or off in the visuals format pane. For the base maps, you can choose one of four standard base maps available to all Power BI users. Or, if you're signed in, choose from the standard base maps and all the base maps in your organization's ArcGIS Online account. Changing the base map allows consumers to get a different view of the data. For example, a base map with roads can provide context for address data. Next, I'll update the title of the map. When hovering over the points on the map, we are not provided with much information. To change this, I'm going to add some data to the tooltips well. For example, the property type and the year it was built. As you can see, when we hover over the point now, more contextual information about the property is available. Optionally, you can drag additional data into the size and or color field wells to tell more of a story with your map. I'm going to style these real estate properties by color using the profit data that we have to easily identify whether the property is making a profit, the green, or a loss, the red. For any map style you choose, you can customize the color ramps and symbols to suit your needs best. To get better insight into your data, add reference layers to your map. All Power BI users can add reference layers from public ArcGIS content. If you're signed in, you can add layers from your organization and from ArcGIS Living Atlas. I'll be adding in some UK economic activity data and changing the layer visible range to be able to see it when I'm zoomed into the map. There is also the functionality to join two layers to each other based on a common geography. In this case, I'm going to join the economic activity layer to my real estate properties in order to understand the demographic context of the assets. To do this, I'll need to drag and drop a field that both datasets have. In this case, it will be the name of the local authority. As you can see, it's estimated the accuracy as best match. Once again, I'll change the layer visible range and I'll also change the transparency so I can see the detail in the base map. As with all layers, you can change the symbology and colors of the layers. So now we see the darker purple areas show higher economic activity. You can also conduct analysis using ArcGIS for Power BI. For example, you could find similar locations or generate travel time analysis to help you get more from your data. Or you could even create a search area to find locations within a certain distance from a point. Here, I'm going to do a five minute walk time from this property. As we can see, the ArcGIS for Power BI map interacts seamlessly with the rest of the dashboard. So when I click on a property, the other dashboard widgets will update. Similarly, when you select features in your widget, the map will automatically filter to show the relevant data. With smart mapping defaults, customizable styling and lightweight analysis tools, ArcGIS for Power BI helps you bring your data to life with the power of location intelligence. If you're an existing customer with Esri UK, please speak to your account manager to learn more. Or if not, check out the link in the caption to find out more information about ArcGIS for Power BI.